your friends in Christ. We are two weeks now into the Lenten season. For the Lord who created us, after he had created everything, he gave us life when he, create, when he created us. He gave us the knowledge and he gave us the energy. That is the reason for almost all of us that we wake up each morning because we have the gift of life. Due to the energy and the knowledge we are having, we go to work. And most of us have come from, from our places of work. Due to that knowledge and the energy, some of you, you are students. When we use the knowledge and the energy, we are just using this for the fact of having life to be better people in this world. To be better off. To have something for ourselves, for our families, and for the community probably at large. So we want to develop ourselves, to build ourselves. That is why they call us rich. The challenge comes in with the attachment and the detachment. Some of us, we are too much attached to what we do that we forget the people around us. We are too much attached to the money and we only look for that money and we forget the humanity of the people around us. No sango muntu, ingali naba kozi, haba samu chitiwa, aloza yenga mkama wawe ya sovolo kuruwala haba kozi tebaina kuruwala, ye, aloza kwa ino kuwe chitiwa, taina kuwa haba kozi chitiwa, era haba kozi, baina funa katono ye nyo, ye ya ino funa chinene. We are attached to the money, due to the energy we are having. We are attached to the riches. So the Lord is calling upon us today that we need to detach ourselves. Chiga sacho kuberanga, olimunga ganyomu nsimu neno moyo gone gufa. We need to detach ourselves and respect the humanity. We use the riches the Lord has given us for the good of all, for the good of everyone in the community. We need to understand the greatness of the Lord who has given us what we have so that we may wish also others good. We may always wish to develop others. So Jeremiah is telling us in the first reading that cursed is the man who trusts in man and blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord. Dear friends, sometimes it is something very small that has led us to lose it all. For the rich man we've heard in the gospel text, it is because of his character that he was not able to reach heaven. Saint John of the Cross at one time he told a story, as he was telling the people, that if a bird is tied with a thread, all with a cord, it is not able to fly. It is not able to continue. So it is incapacitated not to fly. Dear brothers and sisters, sometimes we have failed to fly because of the thread. We need to cut this thread. We need to break the thread. You need to break the cord. What are the cords I need to break in my life? When you put your trust in the Lord, He will provide for you even in your hard times. When you put your trust in the Lord, He will continue sailing you through the hard situations. When you put your trust in the Lord, then you'll understand that everyone needs equality, they need the justice, they need the freedom, and they need to be also free in this world, and they need to have the joy. Let us pray for ourselves, dear friends, that we, we may detach ourselves from all the attachments which are making us not to move towards the Lord, but they are making us to move towards Satan. Omukama to Yambe, Fena, to Tegerebia Turino, Quere Kereza, or Wakabaka Wakatunda, Mumani, Omukama got to what the Namagas got to what Denga to Charino, Buramu, to Kole, Ingabia to Kola, 
bitu yamba okubanga tukolagana bulungi n'abantu abatulinanye ate bitutuuse ne mbwa kabaka obwo muguru the lord be with you